Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I realize that I look extremely crazy, but I bought that thing from TikTok that helps you curl your hair. Basically, it does like heatless curls and I'm going to show you guys the results. So, I don't know how people sleep with it because I tried like my bangs. The Basically, this thing used to be in the front because my bangs were supposed to be completely on top of it. So, I don't know what the hell happened there like i don't know how people because like that's not gonna look nice <laughs> but we'll try to fix it but i don't know how people like sleep with them properly because i tried last night and i just kept moving i actually tried it another day where i didn't sleep with it i just put it on for like two hours and the curls came out super super nice i figured when i sleep with it they're gonna come out a lot nicer oh the curls are like a lot bouncier than last time oh i don't know if i like this <laughs> whatever I'm gonna have to make it work. By the way, guys, I'm using the Jizu hair oil. I'm literally obsessed with it. The smell is so good. All right, guys, so this is the final look. What do you think? It's for sure gonna fall with some time. Like, it'll get a bit looser. So I think it will look better in a bit. Thank God I'm not leaving the house right now. So we're actually leaving tomorrow at around 4 p.m. So basically, I have all of today and tomorrow up until 4 p.m. to finalize everything that I need to do for this trip. And so I'm just gonna do my makeup a little bit. Also, guys, I've been using this Lash Serum from The Ordinary and it's so good. Like, I thought it was a joke when people on TikTok were saying it's amazing, but I swear they were not lying. And so I'm doing a very light makeup look today. I'm just gonna put on some concealer and probably mascara because I'm not doing anything too important today. I just wanted to tell you guys that I have been freaking out all week because our flight is 13 hours. So as you can see from the title of this video, we're going to Dubai and it's a 13 hour flight from Toronto. So I'm from Montreal. We have to fly to Montreal first and then fly out of Toronto. I am not mentally prepared for this flight. I bought gravel because apparently it makes you drowsy. So I'm praying that I won't have to be conscious for the whole entire 13 hours. All right guys, so I'm gonna start packing now. So I've already split up all of my stuff into categories. So right now here on my lap is my clothes that I'm gonna fit into my suitcase. For here, I have all of the food and like snacks and stuff that we're bringing. Here's my electronics and then I have my shoes over here. So now I just need to somehow get all of the clothes into the bag. But guys, I did a sheen order recently for some of the clothes that I'm bringing with me. So I'm gonna use the bags basically as like packing cubes. And so I actually tried to buy pack packing cubes from Sheen but for some reason it got removed from my cart and I didn't end up buying them. So I'm basically just going to use these bags to help me separate my clothes. And guys, I'm sure everyone knows this by now but you always want to roll your clothes instead of folding it because it will condense them a bit smaller and make things fit a bit better. I actually got some really cute stuff from Sheen because me and my boyfriend went shopping. We tried to go shopping in Montreal and everything is like winter clothes obviously so we couldn't really find summer stuff so I did a Sheen order and I got like some cute um, like bikini cover-ups and it comes with like a bottom. It's, it's actually so cute. I really, really love this item. I can't wait to wear it. But I'm such an idiot and I accidentally ordered two of them. Like, I don't know how to online shop apparently because I didn't end up with my packing cubes and I ended up with two of these. All right, so I'm gonna start separating my clothes. So I'm gonna put like beach cover-ups and my bathing suits into one bag. All right guys, so the next bag is gonna be all of my active wear. So I got a couple of new Lululemons, like the navy ones and the camouflage ones. I also have the like light blue ones that I love. And if you guys know me, I literally live in athletic wear, so I'm for sure bringing some. Also, I'm not stopping my gym routine while I'm there, so I definitely will be needing some clothes to wear to work out in. Guys, also, I'm gonna put you guys onto something. Our den has such good athletic wear, so it's actually a KGMTL collab, if you know who that is. She's from Montreal. and I only really like the biker shorts. I've bought her leggings and they just don't really stay up on your body. Um, and if you wear Lululemons, like nothing compares to Lululemons. But I really love her biker shorts. They're so inexpensive. I think for both pieces. So I basically have like biker shorts and a perfect, like this is like the perfect sports bra. And I think for both of them, it was like maybe $25. Check her out because honestly, Arden is literally my favorite place to buy athletic wear and they have such fair prices. And their stuff used to be really juvenile. Like when I was a kid, I would have never thought that at 25 years old, I'm still shopping at Arden, <laughs> but they actually have some really nice stuff. All right guys, so the rest of my stuff is basically just like basics or like 
pajamas. I have like a basic black crew neck pajama pants, white and black long sleeve. So I'm going to put all of these into their own bag as well. And then I have this cute little bag. I bought these period underwear by NYX, which I literally love them, but I'm going to use this bag for my bras and my socks and my underwear. And then lastly, I bought this really cute, it's like a black blazer dress that I'm going to wear. And I'm going to bring these heels. They're super, super, super cute. Uh, it's by this company called Elias May. Elias May. But basically, they're just like a pair of black strappy heels. And the strap is like super dainty. It's so cute. So that's going to be my like date night outfit when we go out to eat at like a really nice restaurant or something. All right, guys. So somehow I've managed to get all of my clothes in here. My underwear, socks, and all that stuff. And my high heels. Now I need to deal with all of the food and snacks and stuff that we're bringing. The electronics and the accessories slash makeup. All right guys, so basically the goal is to put all of my clothes and the food into my luggage. And then I bought this really cute travel bag from Sheen. It's like super thin, but it's foldable. So you can fold it if you don't end up using it. But basically I'm gonna use this on top of my luggage with all of my personal belongings. So I'm gonna try to put like my makeup and all of my electronics in this bag. And guys, this bag was literally $9. Like if you want just an extra little, even for a gym bag or travel bag, it's so worth it. And you can literally put it through your luggage handle so if you're bringing luggage you can just stick it on top and put it through here so that it won't fall all right guys so i'm going to show you what snacks we're bringing so i really want to make sure that we're able to eat healthy while we're there and obviously like we're still going to be eating out but when we've traveled in the past i always felt like we didn't have any food and i always find the hotel breakfast so gross this time around i'm making sure that we are prepared so the first thing that i'm bringing in terms of food is a pack of chia seeds so basically i want to be able to make chia pudding so when we get to dubai i'm going to buy some milk and then i'm going to bring these two little containers so that we can make chia pudding inside of here and then i picked up these almond butter packs so basically they're like individual almond butter packs this company uh, unfortunately the ingredients are not perfect i didn't want to have to buy this company but i couldn't find any other ones but basically it comes with like little packs of almond butter so we're going to use these to put inside of smoothies or if we buy some toast because in all of our hotels and airbnbs we have a toaster i believe so i'm actually just going to take all of them out of the boxes because we definitely don't need to take up space with these boxes next i'm bringing my i think it's new fix uh vanilla protein powder and this protein powder the ingredients are super clean it's such a good protein powder the taste is really good and so i'm gonna bring the rest of my protein powder so that we can make smoothies with the almond butter and the chia seeds. And so basically all that we'll need to buy there is bananas and milk so that we can actually make the smoothies. And guys, I bought this from Amazon. Basically, it's like a mini blender. It's actually so cute. So you actually have to charge it for it to be able to work. We're gonna use this to make our protein shakes. This is just so that we can ensure that at least one meal that we have every single day while we're on our vacation is a healthy meal. And that way we don't have to really worry about breakfast because we have chia pudding protein shakes, almond toast, a smoothie bowl, etc. We have all of that on our little menu. And lastly, I saw this actually in a Mona Van video. If you guys know who she is, she's very like health conscious and she did a video on how to stay healthy while traveling and she bought these seaweed packs. So basically it's like a sea, it's called sea snack. It's olive oil and sea salt. But a lot of times when I'm really, like really hungry and I just want to snack on something, I like to have something like salty. So I thought that this would be a perfect replacement for like when, I, when I'm craving like chips or if we're on the plane and and I want to eat something so I picked up two packs of these I think I'm gonna make Chris carry these because they're quite large and I don't have any space for them I also bought some fresh sponges because I'm not using dirty sponges from an Airbnb to clean my dishes all right guys so I somehow managed to fit all the food and it actually fits like pretty well in the suitcase it's a little snug but it works all right guys so I'm I bought this other bag from Sheen that I'm gonna put inside of this bag and this is gonna have my laptop and my switch and then i'm going to use this little sheen bag to fit my adapter if you guys travel you need an adapter you can buy this from amazon i bought a disposable camera because i thought it'd be so cute to take like memory pictures with this and then this is my cord for my computer my iphone cords and this is for my gimbal and also i have these little like twist tie things for cord it is so helpful to make them like smaller okay guys i started panicking because i was afraid my stuff wouldn't fit so i finished packing all of my stuff off camera all right guys so we are officially done packing that took so long but i have my suitcase i have my extra bag here and then i have my little 
handbag and then I have the stuff that I'm gonna make Chris put in his suitcase and yeah so I really hope that they let me on the plane <laughs> with all of this stuff and so I just have a couple of last errands to run with my mom do my fake tanner and then I'm gonna be going to Chris's house a bit later today and I'm gonna sleep at his house tonight because his brother is gonna bring us to the airport tomorrow so pray for me guys I only have a couple of hours left to get everything done and I am starting to feel the stress okay guys so basically my day was super fucking hectic I didn't have time to do my eyebrows. I didn't have time to do my my spray tan. But now I'm at the gym. My friend came to meet me. We're at my boyfriend's house and we're just working out in the gym downstairs. So yeah, I still have a lot of things to finish tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna record our workout and then I will see you guys tomorrow. And Homer hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dollar, stop all that back and forth over the net My mama wish I would've went corporate, she wish I would've went exec I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect Hey, two sprinters to Quebec, Chevy, Louis, Montbeck They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the net Alright guys, so we just got to the mall, um, we have to buy a couple of things I'm gonna do my eyebrows, I'm gonna try to film for you guys, but I'm still new to this vlogging game, so I don't know how comfortable I'm gonna feel vlogging in front of the eyebrow people. All right guys, so she did my eyebrows. I went to Sourceology in Laval, in Carrefour Laval. I think she did a really good job. I haven't really looked in the mirror. Guys, so we're kind of running out of time, so we're kind of stressing. Well, I'm stressing, I don't know about Chris, but we bought, we picked up some stuff from the bay. Chris got some boxers. Can I show them? Yeah. Like Chris got some boxers, the Calvin Klein ones. They're really nice. Um, cause he realized like he doesn't have any apparently as he was packing. <laughs> um, I picked up also these jiggle juices. I got, um, it's called the mocha protein. It's actually really good. And guys, we are ready to go. I'm so excited, kid. Let's go. So we just made it to our international flight in Toronto. If you guys understood what we just went through, oh my god. So basically our Toronto flight was delayed. Getting out of the plane was delayed. We literally had to sprint here and the lineup is crazy. So basically everybody already lined up to prepare for boarding because our flight was supposed to be at 9.25. It's currently 9.04 and we basically just got here. Thank God the flight is delayed. It's, it's only gonna leave at 10, so boarding's gonna start soon. Anyways, so I hope this vlog was interesting. I don't know if I was able to film enough interesting content for you guys, but it was super stressful. So anyways, stay tuned for the real Dubai vlog because it's gonna be recorded and we're gonna get there tomorrow at, I think 7 p.m. on a Wednesday in Dubai. So yeah, I will see you guys then.